Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Brandon Lee here with the Toys R. Coming back at you with another Marvel Legends review. Uh, Going to be doing the uh, pile driver here today. Um, the Thunderball variant of the Arnim Zola wave. So, uh, so yeah, let's get into so, it. So, uh, first things first. First thing I notice about this figure is it's uh, very bulky. Um, it's a very nice figure. It looks like a, uh, a Hulk sculpt, actually. I mean, it's it's huge. I guess he's he's huge in the comics. So, uh, so yeah, this is a pile driver uh, from the Wrecking Crew, uh, waiting on the Wrecker, and I believe the Dozer. I think is the other guy's name. I'm not sure, but uh, wears a helmet. Looks pretty badass. So, uh, looking forward to getting those figures in the upcoming waves. Um, the other one is Thunderball. Do not have him either. Um, any of you guys out there have him for a good price? Hit me up let me know so uh, let's get into this uh, first things first we'll go with uh, the paint detail and the sculpt a very nice sculpt he's a, a huge character so uh, very nice paint detail as well it's got this white with this uh, blue gray wash right here this overtone very nice on the uh, upper body Lower body has no detail whatsoever, no paint shading, no paint detail, but it's just the uh, the top right here that comes out at you whenever you first first open them up out of package. Gloves have no paint detail on them, pants no paint detail, shoes no paint detail, no paint detail on his belt. Um, although there's a, a few chip paint pieces on there that got messed up from the warehouse, I'm guessing. So uh, his hair is nicely sculpted. It's uh, brown. Actually, it's yellow with a brown wash on the top of it. Uh, blonde, like a dirty blonde look for him. So his flesh tone is very nice, right here. Very nice flesh tone, and his mask fits in very nicely too. It's actually a pretty neat figure. Um, I've been cracking his joints, just uh, filling them out a little bit. No, it sounds wrong, but. I haven't really messed with this figure much since I took him out of package, but it's actually a very nice, very nice figure. Uh, the only thing that would have been nice is the uh, finger finger articulation. There is none. We'll get to articulation in a minute. Um, so overall paint and sculpt, I give this one a eight and a half out of ten. I mean, sculpt, it's a very nice sculpt. Don't get me wrong, but the paint detail could have been a little more, other than I mean just the shirt. So here's his face. Very nice blue in the eyes right there. Like I said, it's not a bad figure. Definitely a pickup, especially if you're a completist. You like to get them all, so get that Arnim Zola. So, all right, let's get right, with so the this guy's articulation. Is pretty good. Um, articulation is as follows. Uh, he's got a head, 360. Looks up, very far. Looks down very far. They need to do that more often with these figures. Uh, he's got a ball jointed shoulder. Goes up out 360. Uh, bicep, bicep swivel. He's got a single jointed elbow which could have been double jointed. Would have been nice. And then his wrist rotates. Or actually his forearm rotates at the glove. No wrist articulation at all. Nothing. Uh, same goes for this side over here. He does have an ab crunch which is very nice goes back that far, goes up that far, does have a waist swivel. His belt is, I've seen it removed and put on other figures, I've seen it glued down. Uh, it doesn't hinder anything right there. I guess that's why they keep it loose. So if you just push it down right there, it's really no bother. 
I know I said on my uh, Dark Wolverine that I really didn't like this. Still don't. Probably going to super glue it down, but whatever. He's on a Y joint. Ball joint right here. Goes up that far and goes back the same. You just got to line these pivots up right here. He's got thigh swivel, double jointed knees, which is nice. Ankles up and down. And he has the toe articulation as well. No ankle pivot at all. So, I mean, it's a nice figure. Like I said, it's, uh, it's definitely a pickup. Especially if you're a completist. I know I've said that too, but it's true. I mean, it's it's a really nice figure. So, um, all in all, articulation, paint, sculpt. I give this figure a eight and a half for trying, I guess. Hasbro just lacks on things that, you know, could be taken care of, should be taken care of. Um, his, art, his accessory is this ball right here. It's actually really neat. It's very detailed. It's a nice sculpt. It's a, it's a hard plastic, so nice chain link sculpt. It's a gray with a black wash on it. I don't know if you guys can see that very good, but it's a very nice piece right there. It's pretty fits very nice in his hands as well um, to get some size comparison so this is a bummer but the Arnim Zola is uh, smaller than this guy which I'm pretty sure in the comics Arnim Zola is supposed to be bigger or just as big as the Wrecking Crew but he is not so that's a bummer um, compare him to Crossbones got a Crossbones right here I mean, you can tell it's a very different sculpt, but he's he pretty much towers over Crossbones, so Crossbones would have to look up if he ever fought him. So, But yeah, so uh, go out. I believe around my area, I know they just got a new shipment of these guys. I wish they'd get the rest of the Hitmonkey wave in so I wouldn't have to look for them everywhere. But I got good news about that, and that's coming next week. And uh, so, yeah, go pick this guy up. Target, Toys R Us, Walmart, you know, comic book store. Definitely a pickup. So, uh, this has been Brandon Lee. Hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, we'll see you next time. Peace.